Hey everybody, Shadow Ninja here, and welcome back to another Rage Quit video. Damn, a lot of stuff is going on at E3, but I just wanted to take this time to spread the news about For Honor. There's some exciting stuff in this update video, so let's just jump right into this. So the devs at Ubisoft have finally released a full trailer for a For Honor update. In this trailer, we see a warden whose surroundings seem to be frozen in time just as she is about to be cut down by what looks to be a curved sword. All around her is a massive battle, and as she walks deeper into the chaotic war zone, a heavy cloud in the shape of a dragon appears. Four mysterious fighters jump out of the smoke, and we cut back to the warden in the middle of the battle, being cut down by these warriors in real time. It has been revealed that For Honor will be adding another faction into the mix. That faction will be the Chinese. We see four distinct heroes including a monk, a jade assassin, a general, and a fighter with a long spear. We will also be getting another game mode, and it might even be bigger than Dominion. Castle Siege will make its way into the game, and I'm so excited. I really hope they implement big minion battles to add chaotic elements, and also ballistas and archer towers to the mix. And it seems like the defending team might get an extra hero, one who is bigger and badder than the rest. This update is called Marching Fire, and I am so pumped. This is just what For Honor needs, a castle siege mode, and a new faction featuring four completely new heroes. I also hope with this update, we could be able to take our helmets off for our knights and customize even a little bit more, because in the trailer, the warden took hers off. For Honor is taking off more than ever now. It's getting everyone hyped for new content, and I can only imagine we'll be getting new reworks for characters to keep changing the meta. Maybe for this new faction, we could also get a campaign expansion DLC or something, featuring the four new characters from that faction. But anyway guys, this is all I have for you as far as news on the For Honor update. As always, give this video a thumbs up if you like it, and press that subscribe button on the bottom if you want to see more Rage Quit content in the future. And have a good day, I'll see you on the next one.